Hey guys, TC here. I'm going to go into my crabby old man routine. You know, I have an absolute reason to do this, because I was supposed to start all this the day after Thanksgiving, and then my neck had other plans. Oh, my neck has been driving me crazy. I've been in so much pain the last seven days. One to scream. Visit to the ER. Visit to the doctor. All they can do, Tylenol and Icy Hot. That's not going to help a lot. Ugh. And to make matters worse... It's Christmas time. Now, I like Christmas time. I love Christmas time. And I love holiday music. But you know something? This is something I don't love. This is the first edition of the Billboard Holiday 100 for 2020. This is the scale that tells us what the radio stations are playing. Why is it that the radio stations around the world play the same damn stuff every year? Now, listen. There are an average of 300 new Christmas albums released every season. And of those, you're going to be lucky if one or two of them produce a song that you'll hear for three or four years at maximum. <coughs> I mean, nothing's become a real standard in the recent years. And yet there's been all these great songs coming out since the year 2000 that nobody's heard of. You know, I'm going to fix that during December. And we're going to start that part of it tomorrow. Today is my complaint day. I want to run this by you. There are 100 songs on this list. The top 100 songs radio plays for Christmas time. And how pathetic is it that 79% of them are 50 years old or more? 79 songs on this list. I think that's a, I think that's the right number. Something 79 songs of this list are more than 30 years old, and 57% of this list are more than 50 years old. According to this list, radio is playing the following songs on a regular basis. There's one from the 1930s, seven from the 1940s, 18 from the 1950s, and tw 31 from the 1960s. Seven made it through, uh, nine made it through the 70s, four from the 80s. I thought the 80s was a better decade than four measly Christmas songs. Seven are from the 90s. Three from the 2000s. Nineteen are from the 2010s because they do get rotated in every now and then, especially if they're middle-of-the-road remakes like Michael Buble and shit. And one from the 2020s. One song this year has gotten added to this list. Although that's probably gone up to two, and the second one's a novelty song. What is it about radio that refuses to play new Christmas music? I mean, think back. What was the last song you can remember that became a lasting standard? Probably, All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey from 1994. That song is almost 30 years old. There were a few that lasted three or four years since then, like Christmas Shoes by New Song, which was in and out. And there have even been some recently that have fallen off the list that used to be played all the time. Songs like the Chipmunks song by the Chipmunks, which is old. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Everybody finally realized, hey, you know, that's not such a good idea. And then the Jingle Bells by the Singing Dogs. I mean, granted, who wants to hear a dog go woof, woof, woof over and over again? But still, it was a classic. So over the next month, I'm going to bring you a few classics and a lot of stuff you've never heard in two separate daily shows. I'm going to be counting down my top 25 Christmas songs right now, rescaled for this year. I did last did this list in 2009, so it's been massively updated, although the same four songs are at the top of the chart. And... I have another show called Jingle Bell Jams where I'm going to be playing some funny stuff, some goofy stuff, some classic stuff, and just some outlandishly weird stuff all related to Christmas. Why doesn't radio play these? You have these 24-hour, 7 days a week radio stations that play Christmas from this year from November 1st through the end of the year, and they're still playing the same freaking 50 songs. Honestly, I'm going to get caught up. We're going to catch up over the weekend. I'll have multiple shows a day, so I want both of these series to end on Christmas Day. And i got 25 songs in each, and I want you to be able to hear them and say, You know, he's right about this, or you know, he's an idiot. I don't care which way you think. 
But the truth of the matter is, I'm kind of sick of all the old stuff all the time. I don't mind the classics mixed in with other stuff. I have three Spotify channels all dedicated to Christmas music, and one of them's got mostly classics on it. But you mix it up, people. Come on, give us some fresh stuff. There's some great stuff in the last 20 years that deserves to be mixed in with all the classics. And you people at radio, you don't bother listening to it. So maybe the VC will. I'll have a lot of good titles. Just for the record, the top 10 songs on the radio right now, Sleigh Ride by the Ronettes from 1963, the Christmas song, Nat, Nat King Cole, 1961. Let It Snow, Dean Martin, 1959. Feliz Navidad, Jose Feliciano, 1970. Last Christmas, Wham, 1984. It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, Andy Williams, 1963. Holly Jolly Christmas, Burl Ives, 1964. Jingle Bell Rock, Bobby Helms, 1957. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Brenda Lee, 1958. And number one, All I Got One for Christmas Is You, Mariah Carey, 1994. Nothing after 1994 is in the top ten. I'm sorry. There's so much great stuff out there, and I want you to hear it. So... I'll come out of my old man mode and talk more a little bit about it. Once again, my Christmas countdown, which will run. Uh, it's going to be enough so I can end on Christmas Day, so I'm going to be catching up the next few days. It was supposed to be the top 30, now it's the top 25 because of all the neck issues. And Jingle Bell Jams, stuff that I don't put on my top. Those are serious songs. I don't put ser uh, funny songs on my top 25. Jingle Bell Jams are my funny songs, my weird songs, the songs that aren't quite good enough for the 25 that might be pseudo-classics or classics or just out-and-out out goofy. And I'll have both series every day starting tomorrow, and I hope you'll get a kick out of them. I hope you'll like and, sh and subscribe to my channel. I hope you'll share what you do. Click the thumbs up. And don't forget, Christmas time is the time to have fun. Despite the old man in me, I don't listen to Christmas music on the radio. I listen to what I want to listen to. And the Billboard Holiday 100 can go beep itself. I'll see you soon. Bye.